Hey guys, so I got a little bit of a haircut. I got a new webcam, which I'm testing right now with you guys on the low light setting. Looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know, to me it looks great though. So, Christmas, what does it mean to me? So, uh, some background. In my home, we had no traditions for Christmas other than the giving of gifts, really. Sometimes we had a tree, sometimes we didn't. Sometimes we had some kind of food, sometimes we didn't. Just sort of all dependent on how the year went. So as I grew up and I learned more about Christmas, I learned that it's a Christian tradition. And a lot of people already know, you know, it's got like pagan backgrounds where the Catholic Church took pagan winter solstice stuff and overlaid Christian stuff on top. And now that's how we celebrate it. So it became a church tradition to celebrate during this time. But if you're looking at this from a biblical perspective, Christians have one holy day. And that's called the Sabbath. It's the seventh day, no matter how you live your week, whether you, you see your week is starting on Tuesday, then seven days after Tuesday, that's your Sabbath. Okay. So for us, for Christians, if you're following a biblical worldview, then that's our holy day. That's the day that we use to get together with family, fellowship with other believers, be reminded about how we're supposed to treat our fellow man, be reminded to be generous and not focus on the crazy things that are going on in the world, but focus on our love and focus on, our, on how God takes care of us, not to worry too much about things. So that's basically what people use Christmas for. If you see all the Christmas movies, everybody's talking about, you know, goodwill towards men and be forgiving and all this other stuff. So for me, Christmas is like Sabbath on steroids. <laughs> I'm always looking for different ways to spread the good news. And Christmas is a great time to do it because everybody, you know, there's a baby in manger stuff all over the place. Uh, there's also Santa stuff and all this other stuff. So I've been able a few times to sort of talk to people about Christ during this time frame, and people have been more open about it, which is nice. I've had some great conversations, and I don't think I've ever changed anyone's mind, but I've had some great conversations. I do have a few traditions that my husband and I made up, but they don't have anything to do with the Bible. Like this, The Bible doesn't teach us to have traditions during this time. They... Uh, they're just something he and I like to do. I've always wanted like family traditions. I always wanted that type of thing just because they look like it's fun. It's nice. It looks like it bonds people really well, you know. So that's just something I always wanted. So we have one where we go to downtown Charleston and look at this train set because we both like train sets. And then, you know, we go and we have some hot chocolate or we have some coffee. Or I have coffee, he has hot chocolate. <laughs> And then we just, we spend time together, no matter how our year has gone, no matter how our week has gone, no matter how that day has gone. We spend the time together, reconnect, rekindle, think about the years that have passed. So what are your holiday traditions? As a Christian or someone who doesn't believe, how do you see this time of year? I look forward to hearing from you guys. Until next year.